Hi, this is Tim Reese of Gilmore Academy and Reach Hockey. This episode we're going to be focusing on change of direction. The last episode we covered our neutral start. So this episode is going to be more about how to generate power coming out of a stop or out of a change of direction. So the most commonly used start when you're changing direction or coming out of a stop is your crossover start. Before we get into that though, we're just going to go over stopping real quick. Okay, if I'm skating towards the camera and I want to stop and go the other way, the first thing I want to do is point my stick in the direction I want to go. So my body's always going to want to follow my stick and follow. My skates are always going to follow my shoulders and my upper body. So the first thing I'm going to do is point my stick in that direction. Then I'm going to stop. I'm going to lean in okay, with my hip. This leg, my right leg is going to be on its outside edge. This leg is going to be on its inside edge. Okay, once I stop, I'm going to cross over. And once I crossover, I'm going to be back in the neutral start, which is what we covered last episode. Okay, so for our crossover start, like I said, I'm pointing my stick in the direction I want to go. So if I just stop going that direction, I want to go back towards the camera. I'm leaning in with my hip in that direction. My stick's pointed out. Once I stop, I'm punching this knee over. Once I land, I'm, getting, I'm driving off of the outside edge on this leg. Now I'm here basically back in my neutral start. Same thing, I want to run on the inside edges, try to generate as much speed and power as I can for my first three strides. Once I get into my fourth and fifth stride, I want to be into my long regular strides. Okay, so this next show we're just focusing on getting quick change of direction, we're focusing on foot speed, but more importantly, we're, we're focusing on being able to, to uh, decelerate going in one direction and quickly accelerate going in another direction. So using the blue line as my guide, I'm going to cross over to this side. I'm going to cross over to this side. So as I'm crossing back and forth, I want to focus on my hip always leaning in towards the blue line. So when I'm here, I want to have this hip pointed out towards the blue line. When I cross, I want to have this hip point out towards the blue line here. So I don't want to just do the stationary, I'm going, to, I'm going to do it moving. So I'm going to move from about the dot till about center ice. And as I'm crossing back and forth, my hips are going to be shifting back and forth. Because the sooner I decelerate or the better I decelerate going in one direction, the quicker I can accelerate going in another direction. Okay, so it'll look like this. Now we're going to look at this from a game situation where I'm skating in one direction, I have to stop, go the other direction. So I'm going to start with the red line, I'm going to skate towards the blue line, stop, and then sprint as fast as I can back towards the red line. The same key points all apply. So now that I know the technique, now that I have everything behind it, now I want to try to apply it to a game situation and try to get the most out of it. Those are all drills you can use to work on your acceleration off of a change of direction. Thanks for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe to the channel. If there's anything you'd like to see in a future video or if you have any questions or comments, feel free to reach us at uh, reachhockey at 2018 at gmail.com.